Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to Flip Flop. Alright, you saw the title, you know why you're here. We are back with more Choosing Beggars content, of course. Now, before we do jump in, if you're new here or just haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It really helps out. Alright, let's get started. Three stars, September 2021. They sold us a nice bed, but two years later when we were moving, they refused to help us move the bed, even after we offered to pay for it. So in our opinion, all they do is sell beds. Don't expect any else after that. Ah uh, yes, they must have forgot about the legally binding contract that whenever you sell someone a bed or piece of furniture, you have to help them move it for the rest of your life. Hello everyone, I'm currently looking for someone to dig a hole that's 4 feet deep and 3 feet wide, also to dig 2 trenches at 41 feet long, 2 feet deep, and 1 foot wide. The trenches need to be sloped as well. I'm willing to pay $200 for this entire job, please DM me. I'm located near blank, thanks. $200 for literal backbreaking labor. Looking for good, free artist. Yes, I hope to be able to get this for free. Feel free to send me a DM or contact me for Discord or other socials if interested so I can send a picture of me and so you can start drawing. I know people will tell me no one will do this, but I keep having hope. Art. I would like a drawing of me wearing steampunk clothing in a Japanese mansion room behind a desk. I would like to see a spring nature outside the window. Gardevoir should cuddle me. Magirna should play music using her built-in music box like the movie shows. Shaman should be on the ground. Meloetta should be singing. Alchemy should be on a plate on my desk in a cute pose. And Jirachi should be granting a wish. And I would like the time to be noon. Small word of advice. Don't ask for art for free unless you want to be made fun of. Also, that's a lot of characters for a free piece. If you want the piece that bad, draw it yourself or get a job and pay for the art. I mean, look. Who of us doesn't want a drawing of ourselves in steampunk clothing in a Japanese mansion with our ideal Pokemon team? But we're not asking for it for free. We are needing someone to tear down our old farmhouse in Dondridge, Arkansas. We'll let you have most of the lumber as payment. Sheet metal roof not included. It cannot be moved and is not for sale. We need it torn down. Please PM me for more information. Wow, not only are you doing the old tear this down and either pay me or you can keep the wood as payment, but you're calling out which pieces you get to keep. Come on. Seeking an experienced horse person who wants some time with a horse. Clean stall and paddock. Clean and fill water tank daily AM in exchange for light use of horse. PM me for more information. I can only answer private messages. Thanks. I would be more concerned with the people replying to this post who are incentivized by light use of horse. All right, we have a Reddit post here. I don't think I have it in me anymore. So I can't drive for medical reasons, and I have family that I try to visit whenever I can. I take a Greyhound bus since they're about four hours out, and a taxi or Uber or Lyft is way too expensive at that distance. I only live about 45 minutes from the station though, so that I can work with. Anyhow, the Greyhound station I take, which is also the one near me, is very sketchy in a shady part of the city and homeless people everywhere. Not saying they're what makes it sketchy, but that is relevant. Now, whenever I get on or off the bus, I always have a little cash on hand in case one of them asks for a dollar or something to get a drink. I'm in Texas, it's always hot here. On my last trip back, I got off and was headed to my lift outside, and a homeless man stopped asking if he'd exchange his quarters for a dollar bill. I told him I didn't need the quarters and to keep them, and handed him a $5 bill. This man then looked me dead in the face and said, Just $5? Can't you spare some more? I told him that I didn't have anything else, which was true, and had to get to my ride. He rolled his eyes and stuffed the $5 in his pocket, going past me to ask the person a few feet from me for money. I was honestly a bit shocked. This wasn't the first time I've been met with similar reactions, but to be so outright bold and blatantly ungrateful just caught me off guard. I try to be kind to those around me because I've definitely gone without in life, but the audacity to be so prickly about the help you're given, I can't fathom any of that. 
and leave a comment. Downtown Houston is something. I had a guy follow me into a local bakery, strike up a conversation with me while waiting in line, asking me a lot of uncomfortable questions, and then I ordered and waited to the side of my order. He places a massive order, then when they ring him up for payment, he turns and starts yelling at me to pay for it and that I owed him breakfast. Truly mind-boggling. Honestly, had he not made me so uncomfortable, I would have actually probably offered to buy him breakfast. Well, two different scenarios where the beggars do indeed be choosing. Here's one that's short and sweet. I'm looking for a babysitter ASAP, paying $125 per week. I'll provide all that is needed for the child's care. What are your hours like? 5 a.m. until 6 p.m. Ah, okay, so 52 cents an hour. Good luck. Where did this disconnect come from that babysitting is somehow the easiest job in the world and people should be paid next to nothing for doing it? Like, I would much rather be sitting in an office all day doing like data entry or something like that instead of taking care of someone else's child and doing everything that falls under that umbrella. I mean, to be fair, I would not really want to do either of those things, but you get what I'm saying. We want to take this ramp off the front of our house. The lumber is in excellent condition. It just needs a good pressure washing. No rotten spots can be taken apart in pieces and hauled. We don't have a use for it. It was the previous owners. Asking $200 or best offer. Located in Calcord in Raleigh County. Must pick up as well as we don't have a truck. This person is looking us dead in the eye and asking us to pay $200 for the shittiest wood I've ever seen in my life. All right, here we have what looks to be an exchange about a product. I can't tell what the product is, but let's take a look. Wanna send me one to try out and review? If it's good, I'll write you a five star. We have an easy program in place for this. You just check out online, buy the product, exchange money for goods and services, and if you love it, leave us a five star review. Easy peasy. We could do it that way. Or you do what many new companies do to get their ratings up. Send out the item for free. If the product you claim is as great as, as you say it is, you get a five-star review that leads to more sales in the future. An item that costs you a few dollars to make in China given away turns into future revenue because of reviews. You win, I win, you don't have to get something. And someone else shares this classic choosing beggars meme. The person asking for the product says mind your business. Stop trying to get freebies. Why on f***ing earth would I do that? That's about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. There we go. You just admitted this wasn't about raising their ratings, but instead, mooching. You read what you want to read. That's a neat trick. See you on Reddit. Thanks for the karma, r slash choosing beggar. Yeah, I mean, if you're really going to do some choosing beggar stuff like this, why not do it in a private message instead of on a public forum where other people are going to chime in? But then again, these people really have no self-awareness, so kind of makes sense. Hey man, I have idea for a game, but I can't do it alone. Hello, thank you for contacting me. How can I help? I'm trying to make a game, Rome vs. Egypt vs. Greek vs. North. You have to pick a faction. It will have some story, but mainly online, kind of like Lion Hearts, but ancient times where players pick who to join and join in massive player vs. player siege, and each kingdom will have their own environment. Norse snow, Greek plains, Egypt desert, Rome jungle, and me, you, and two others will lead one of those kingdoms. Like I get Greek and you get Norse, my players and siege weapons will attack your kingdom while you and your players defend. There will also be forts and villages around on each territory or you can make a clan so other factions can hire you and that's pretty much it for now and there will be four emperor wow that seems to be an ambitious project before we continue what's your budget ten dollars <laughs> so this is basically fiverr in a nutshell for those of you who have had the pleasure of never visiting that site this is about how 90 percent of the conversations go oh god another one what is it today Old fence, pretty gray color, would be great for projects, decor, etc. Want gone ASAP, $100 if you come take it down. Price goes up if we take it down, between 50 and 70 feet of fencing. And then we have this golden comment, you pay me $100 and I'll come take down your old fence. My annual, my annual performance review. Well done on doing the work of two people. We want you to continue doing that as well as a few more ideas we want to talk about. But unfortunately, we can't give you so much as a penny more. Management all got 10% raises and bonuses. So the first two paragraphs are basically how great this person has been doing. 
And then we get down to, as I'm sure you're aware, the situation has affected businesses the world over, and ours was no exception. As a result, there's currently insufficient funds in the fiscal year 2023 budget for staff salary increases or bonuses. Here's to a great fiscal year 2023. Massive corporations, the most underrated choosing beggar of all. Anyway, I think we'll end it there, so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please consider giving it a like or letting us know in the comment section down below. And as I said at the beginning, if you're new here or you've been enjoying the videos, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps out. Thanks again for sticking around, and we'll see you in the next one.